Okay, so let's talk about working with organizational units in Active Directory. Uh, let's start by opening up Active Directory users and computers. So we're going to go to Tools and ADUC. Now, we'll work with organizational units. Gives us several big benefits. Um, if we don't, all of our users end up just piling up in the Users folder here and it gets a little bit difficult to work with so that's a problem by organizing into uh, organizational units it makes it easier for us to manage another benefit is it we can apply group policies to organizational units and so if we have users in different organizational units we can give them different uh, permissions different rights different um, configurations if we just have them all put together in the users folder, we can't actually do that because you actually can't apply group policies to this default users folder. The other thing it does is it gives us the ability to um, to delegate control. That was the term I was looking for. It gives us the ability to delegate control so we can give different people in our organization permissions to manage different segments of uh, Active Directory and the users and groups associated with it without having to give them access to everything. All right, so let's start by creating an organizational unit. So I'm going to right click on my domain up here and I'm going to create a new organizational unit. And uh, so a couple of things here, we're going to have the name and then we're going to have this option right here to protect container from accidental deletion and that's going to be checked by default. So we're going to create a folder or an organizational unit and we'll call it West Wing. And okay, now we want to leave that checked. And what that does is that makes it so I can't right click and delete. Um, it'll block that. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. And it says, yeah, you can't do that. Well, that's because we've set it to protect against accidental deletion. I'll show you how to undo that here in a couple of minutes. But the reason that's important is because if we do that, um, we can, if we delete an organizational unit on accident, we can actually wipe out everything that's contained within that organizational unit. And that becomes a little bit of a problem. All right. Now, the other thing is we can nest organizational units inside other organizational units. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new, there we go, organizational unit. And I'm going to call this one staff. And then I'm going to create another one as well, still as part of that West Wing um, organizational unit. There we go. I looked right past it. And we're going to call this one Guests. Okay, so now we've got a structure to our Active Directory. And I really recommend doing this for your organization, even if you just got a few people. If you, you can put things in the default users uh, folder, um, but if you want more of the functionality of Active Directory and more structure and order and make it easier to manage, definitely make organizational units. And you can do it however best fits your organization. All right, so that's created the organizational units. I'm going to go ahead and create one more. I'll put it under guests just for the fun of it. And organizational unit. And we're going to call this one. This is going to be temporary, so we're going to call this one delete me. All right, now I told you I'd show you how to get rid of an organizational unit that you want, don't want. The way you do that is you right click and delete. And remember, this isn't going to work because we're protected from accidental deletion. So what we have to do is look at some advanced properties. So we're going to come up to our view tab and we're going to select advanced features. Now that's going to add a bunch more things in here. Keys, lost and found, program data, NTDS quotas, TPM devices. We won't worry about any of that at the moment. We're going to go back to our delete me and right click and we're going to have to go to properties first. And from properties, we want to go to the object tab and on the object tab is a little check box here that says protect from accidental deletion. So we'll select that, apply and OK. And now we should be able to delete this. 
Okay, did we really have to go through all of that those steps? Yeah, actually we did. Let's turn out the advanced features, which are turned off by default. And let's say I decided I wanted to delete the guests OU. So I'm going to right click, go to properties, and notice that object tab isn't even on here. So we have to view the advanced features in order to be able to do it. Okay, so we have created an organizational unit. We have deleted an organizational unit. Let's talk about delegating control of an organizational unit. So in order to do this, you have to have an account to delegate to. And so I went ahead and created myself a standard user account. Now this is a standard user account. If you go to member of, they're just a domain user. They have no special permissions at all. Um, so I'm going to take and I'm going to delegate control of the guests OU to that user. So I'm going to right click and select delegate control. Next and then add and I'm going to find the username and you can delegate control to multiple users um, with different levels because delegate control is not an all or nothing thing. So you see right here, here are all of the tasks I can allow this user. So I'm going to allow this user to reset usernames and password or reset user passwords and force change at next logon. So it's all they can do is uh, reset a user password and make them change it at their next logon. So I'm going to click next and finish. So now that user has these permissions, so my David user has the right for anybody inside the guest OU, that's only for inside the guest OU, because that's where I set those permissions at. So they can't reset passwords for anybody in the staff OU. Now, um, yeah, permissions are inherited. So if I would have set it on the West Wing OU, then they would have had the permission to do that for anything under the West Wing OU. All right, so if I want to add additional uh, permissions, I can right click, delegate control. Now you'll notice my previous users and groups aren't there. So this won't allow me to uh, modify the permissions they have. I can only add new ones. So let me go ahead and add. I'm going to use my David account again. And I'm going to give that David account, whoops, that's not what I wanted. I want a next. I'm going to give that David account a few more permissions. I'm going to let them create, delete, and manage user accounts. Now you'll also notice down here we can create custom tasks to delegate. Most of what you're going to want to be able to do you can probably deal with just by uh, using these common tasks. If you're going to create custom tasks, make sure you know what you're doing. So get yourself a temporary system, play around with it a little bit. Make sure that you know what you're doing before you do it on a live system. So I'm going to add create delegate and manage user accounts and click next. Okay, now what if I want to take permissions away? Well, for that, I'm going to have to go back into my advanced view. So I'm going to go to View, Advanced Features, and Expand West Wing, and I'm going to find my guests, and I'm going to right-click and go to Properties. And this time what I'm looking for is this tab that says Security. Now this works kind of like NTFS permissions do. It's actually really, really similar. So if I find David Dalton, we're going to see that David Dalton right here has allowed some special permissions. And if I click on Advanced, it'll load up and show me a little bit more about what some of those permissions are. So David Dalton has full control of descendant user objects, which means objects down below this. Um, Alright, so if I want to remove those permissions, let's see if my system has stopped responding here. And alright, we'll reconnect. If I want to remove those permissions, then I just select the user that I want and remove and that takes them away. And I can do that either here from the advanced permissions or from here as well. I can remove it. And they should actually already be gone even though that hasn't refreshed yet. Let's just confirm that real quick. Make sure I got them all. 
properties, security, I didn't quite catch them all, so I'll just remove it from here and apply and okay. All right, and there we go. We have created organizational units. We have uh, delegated control. We've removed organizational units. Let me go ahead and set my view back to normal. And that should give you a pretty quick idea of how we manage organizational units inside Active Directory.